an exciting unboxing today. Um, I'm gonna have to open this off camera because my address is on all sides of the box, but I have a box from Alice Stationers. I also have some good news, well good news for me I guess, and good news for you regarding Alice Stationers. I am now an affiliate for them and I have a 10% off code, so if you choose to use it, you'll get 10% off your order. I have been using other people's codes and finally decided why do I not have one? <laughs> So um, I actually used Simone's code to get a discount on uh, this particular item in this box, which um, I'll show you in just a moment. Let me go ahead and open it and then we'll come back. Okay, I've opened said box. Hopefully that's all the information. Okay, yeah, so we have some paper. We have more items, more packing materials. Put pen to paper and write a river. Here's the new uh, postcard that they send out. And this was a pre-order item. And if you can see what it is, you can see that it's a Banu. If you know me and you know my favorite color, you can probably guess what this is. It is the Banu Talisman Lavender. Oh, it comes with a little, what's this, a little bookmark? Oh, this pen is number 250 out of 500, literal halfway point. That's pretty cool. Comes with a uh, cartridge. Also this lovely paperwork, speaking about lavender, cute little material. Um, I'm not gonna read this all here, but yeah, let's see. Inspiration and substance added to the material of the pen, lavender. Um, yeah, it actually smells like lavender. Magical attribute ascribed in Miss Harmony and Protection. And I'm not going to read all this now, but it does very heavily smell like lavender, which is a good and a bad thing for me personally. Sometimes lavender gives me a headache. So if you are really sensitive to scents, <laughs> beware. Because <laughs> it is, I, I don't think the scent will stay. I mean, I could be wrong, but... Um, Look at it. It's so pretty. I wish I had a little more of the sparkles, but what I do have of the sparkles is really pretty. Looks like mine is heavily leaning towards the light lavender portion of it. That purple section. I believe I got a fine nib on it, mine because I am in love. Yes, I did. There's like an F. I don't know if you can see it on the nib right there. I'm obsessed with their fine nibs. So I got it in a fine. This is so pretty. It does smell like lavender, but I'm wondering if it's gonna be like my Skittles pen and the, the scent will fade. Um, we're gonna ink it up and do a writing sample. Of course we are. I'm going to ink it with um, Van Diemen's Tasmania Vine Purple. I love this ink. This is the ink that I usually put in my Estherbrook SD, which currently has Sailor New Hampshire in it. Um, but I've been wanting to write with this ink and I thought it would be a nice little match. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and do that right now. This is one of my favorite purple inks. Oh, am I going to have to tip the jar? This jar is a little, it's getting down to the wire. Okay, it's not a full fill, but it'll do for now. It'll do for our purposes. Um, ink on my hands. I have no paper towel. There's one over here. I'm stepping over the box. You know it's a good time when you have ink on your hands. Oh, that section is so pretty. kind of wish my swirl, mine swirled a little more together. They kind of, it's kind of color blocked almost. The cap is lovely. It's, a, it's this is a gorgeous pen. Holy moly. Okay, let's do, do a little writing sample. Here's these swatches from those Van Diemen's cat inks. See, this looks so, this, now that this is dry, this definitely looks like a very dark green. 
this Tomcat instead of a black. It's like a green leaning black. Let's go to the back and do our little writing sample. Let's do it. Let's do it on this little. Do we have any other? Let's do it on the bottom of this page. Or we can do it here. Figure out what I'm doing with my life. So this is the Benue Talisman. This is the smaller. Do I have... I've been using my Rainbow Slushy Euphoria, but I don't have it sitting here at the moment. I have previously... Oh, did I get... Um, I have previously uh, compared the size of these pens before. This nib is stunning. Um, I'm in love with the Benue Fine Nibs. I don't know what it is about the Fine Nibs, but I just freaking love them. So this is no exception, I'm sure. This is the Benu Talisman. Lavender. And this is a fine nib. And the ink is Van Diemen's. Tasmania. Vine Purple. Which I have no idea if this still even exists. This was part of their original Colors of Tasmania collection. And I know they reformulated a lot of them. And I bought another bottle of this. But I can't remember if it was a reform. I don't think it's reformulated. I think it's the original. I'm not sure. I don't remember, to be honest. I did get another bottle of this because I love this color so much. Um... Very smooth. So a touch, but I don't. I don't do this anyway. I think that's just lefty problems. Oh, I love this. I love this. The quick brown fox jumps over the hazy. Dog. We did get a little hard start skipping here, but maybe the feed was just out of ink because it keeps it keeps up pretty well. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm super happy. I'm super happy with my life choices. I love these shades of purple. Oh my goodness, let's zoom out. Like, I wasn't going to buy any more Benews because I have quite the, well, I'm not going to say I wouldn't buy any more. I still, I still want one of the bourbon Euphorias to go with the Vodka on the Rocks Euphoria that I have, but, um, yeah. But then they announced purple and I pre-ordered it immediately. Um, I use Simone's code. Um, which is uh, Simone 10. You can use her code or you can use my new code, which is Manda 10. Um, I will put links to this pen. It will be an affiliate link in the description box. I'm not sure if Alice has any, but I will link it if they do. Um, and I will also be putting the code in the description box if you choose to use my code. Please don't feel obligated. Um, yeah, whatever whatever whenever you choose to use it you get 10% off and I believe I get a small portion of um like as a commission of the sale of your items so cool if you use it cool if you don't uh, but yeah it is there if you choose to use it to support the channel to support me to support what we got going on here and uh yeah again no obligation <laughs> but 10% off is 10% off. This pen is so pretty. I can't stop looking at it. And these sparkles. I'm sorry. The lighting in here is... We got really terrible lighting. Can I? I wonder if I can put... I don't think I can put the flash on while I'm, I'm recording. But it's like the little hearts. It's so pretty. Like, this is like just me. Everything... The only thing that could make this slightly better is if there was some black involved. But I'm glad that the section isn't black. I like that it's this like iridescent purple. It's kind of a color shifting purple because it sort of looks pink in some lights and the, the glitter looks a little bluish. It's really stunning. 
it's really stunning and as usual I love this I love this fine nib so I have two talismans with fine nibs I have a euphoria with a broad I have a euphoria with a fine and I have a euphoria uh, no I have a talisman with a medium because I have the unicorn as well so two fines and a medium in the in the talisman size and I have a broad and a fine in the euphoria size so cool let me know what you think of this pen did you get this pen are you planning on getting this pen how do you feel about lavender um i feel like a lot of people say that lavender is supposed to be really relaxing and calming but it bothers me sometimes like it, it's not bothering me now um but oftentimes some lavender scented things are really headache inducing so um, if you are sensitive to smells and scents, please be aware that this does smell of lavender as soon as you take it out of the box. Um, so that may be an issue for you. Um, I feel like they didn't mention that or maybe I just didn't read it. I didn't hear that it did smell like lavender until people started getting their pens and um, talking about them. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that was previously announced or not, but yeah, if you are sensitive to smells and scents keep that in mind. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for you today. Here's a little close-up of the writing samples in case you wanted to see that. Should we do a little swipe to see how wet the pen is? Or what the, like, the, the pen and the ink situation? Do a little, a little swipey. And that goes, goes a pretty fair way. My hand, to my hand. My hands do smell a little bit of lavender from cold, holding the pen. So anyway, cool. Awesome. You can't even see because I'm zoomed in. Thank you so much for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.